Hello guys, today we are going to build a website that is like an inventory management system that can track three types of devices, uh, laptops, desktops and mobiles. This is just an example and you can customize this to any of your preferences. Say probably you can change this into a restaurant setting management, stock management and maybe even a network IP management. This website will be accessible from any device on your local area network. In this website, you can add an item through here, through the add button. You can edit any item through the edit button and you can remove an existing item through the delete button. You can even import an entire excel sheet into this website. Uh, so see you can you have up to 63 IDs in this, in this uh, page. Now let me import an already existing excel sheet that will populate the rest for us. Now as you can see, the list is populated with the elements of the excel sheet. This Making of this website is uh, fairly easy. Uh, we'll be using Django framework in Python, so basic knowledge of Python syntax will suffice and I'll explain everything on the go. So let's get started. So assuming you already have Python installed in your computer, we'll install Django. To do that, we'll run this command pip install Django. If you already have Django installed in your computer, it'll, it's not going to reinstall it. Now. To start our project, it's fairly straightforward. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a directory called tutorial right here, and in this directory, we're going to start the project. To start the project, we just have to call this uh, Django admin script and pass a start project, and we're going to uh, tell it give it a name management and that's it it's going to set up all the directories and files required for us uh, for us to get started as you can see it created a managed or managed file and it also created a lot of uh, normal directory files that we are going to use in this project so once that's done let's import our project into a custom editor you can use pycharm uh, right now i'm using atom so let's add the project folder So this is the basic structure that uh, that the Django admin file has just created for us. Now, uh, as uh, to check if your website is completely running or not, uh, we can directly go into our inventory management, and we can call the manage.py script that is right here. Manage.py run server. This is basically going to run the server in this IP address and you can enter it and see that the Django website has been successfully launched. This shows that your website completely works fine right now and you can basically start building stuff right now. 